I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Western. As you all know, I'm Steph here with your morning news. We hope you had an amazing weekend. We have some exciting news for you today. Tomorrow we will be having a half day, so school will end at 10.45 a.m. There will be a DECA meeting on Thursday, September 29th from 2.15 to 2.45 in room D100. Homecoming court elections will be coming soon, and voting will be during lunch. Don't forget to vote. Vote for me. Remember that you can still join clubs like Book Club. We will have meetings every Wednesday after school. We also have Black Experience with meetings every Thursday after school. Eco Club is also going to have meetings every Thursday after school. The Art and Animation Club will have meetings every Thursday after school as well, between 2.15 and 3.30 p.m. Contact Matt Weber through the number or email down below if interested in theater tech. Attention students, make sure you per purchase a parking permit if you drive to school. The cost is $100 a year and forms are still available in the main office. Now, I want to stand with some news about our world outside of Western. Attention all hockey and basketball fans. The NHL is back on October 12th and the NBA on the 3rd. Be sure to follow the Pistons and the Wings this season. For all my rep fans out there, Lil Baby will be at DTE on October 1st. Please choose wisely between the concert and the pink out. And either one will be chilly, so prepare for one chilly night. Now into the weather. This week has been the most rain Michigan has gotten since 2015. Talk about one soggy week we've all had. Not only has this been affecting our hair and our fists, but flooding has become quite a big issue as well. If you drive to school, please be careful on the roads. Summer has officially ended and fall is in full swing. This means it's cider mill season. Be sure to check out the mills near you, such as Franklin Cider Mill that I've been working out for the past four years. Come and visit me for some extra donuts. That's all I have for you. So Jackie, what's going on with the pink out? Thanks for asking, Sam. The Pink Out game is coming up on Friday, October 1st. Due to preparations for the Pink Out even event that evening, all students and staff will be required to park in the north lot. The student lot will be closed beginning Thursday evening after all athletic events conclude. Please plan to arrive early to school on Friday for drop-off and pickup. Pink Out shirts are for sale at all lunches. They are $15 per shirt and you can get into the game for free with it. So make sure you get it by October 1st for the big game. And finally, on Friday, the Pink Out event will take place, starting with an honoree ceremony, a parade, and then the football game kicks off at 7.30 p.m. On September 30th, 2021, at 6 p.m., the swim meet versus South Lion at Wild Lake Central will be holding a chuck a duck to help fight cancer. Attendees can purchase a rubber duck for $2 each and try to chuck it into a hula hoop. All proceeds will go to the Warriors for War Warriors Pink Out fundraiser. Make sure you come out to support a great cause. Now, let's head back to Steph. That is all the news we have for you today. And as always, have a great day, Western. See you again soon.